Hi everybody, how are you? Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June. Um, Pi uh, Pisces and Gemini came in before you at the same place, at the 5th place, and you're coming in on the 6th place at 36 likes. So, the that's why you are in the, the sixth video. Okay, I'm uh, telling the spiel at the end of the video, my darlings, but welcome to the channel and welcome back to my Cyber Angels. And like I said, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June. And we are in Cancer now, so the energy has changed. Sorry, I should have put this that way. Um, and I'm using the Shadowlands and this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This is the Quirin card, that is you, or the overall energy. I will be going uh, into the corners as well, doing those cards with the cards, clarifying the cards uh, that's lying around them. Or um, I'm using this card to clarify those cards. I'll see how it goes. And we've got the sh uh, mystical shaman card and the uh, spirit, uh, a message from spirit, postcard from spirit, and the queen of the moon oracle deck. So let's get started. And thank you very much for the um, likes and shares. I do appreciate it very much, and that's why I'm doing them in order of the most liked. Uh, uh, videos. So if you want to be number one, then come on Scorpio, get those thumbs up. <coughs> okay, we start off with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces that is bringing you news or an offer of love or a job. Okay. So that is a good start to the week in receiving news. And it will be good news because if you get a, an offer or news of love, that means good news. Or if you get a job offer or an o news of an offer, like the star, your wish might just come true. Above you, and he's been coming out quite a bit this week, in the readings up till now is the King of Pentacles. So everything you touch will turn out positively, as he is known to have the Midas touch. So everything he touches will turn to gold. He's the type of person that um, investigates um, and takes his time to make a decision to invest for with durability and for long term so that he can see returns of his investment again and again and again. The King of Pentacles is Taurus and but there are two other earth signs and that is Virgo and Capricorn. You might be meeting one of these people. So it could be the water signs or the earth signs. And again on Wednesday we have a and a water sign. So those, the water and pentacles seem to be dominating in your reading Scorpio. So you might be right um, up in there feeling great in this energy, in the energy of water, of Cancer. So you might be Scorpio, Sun, Rising or Moon, Cancer. So you might be right in your element as we have the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is you, Scorpio, as the King is Cancer. So I think you are right in your element, like I said. Now I think Capric um, who was it, Taurus and Aries had their, um, their sign as well, the Queen or the King as well. So there you go, they are in their element, it, the energy has changed because we are in cancer now okay 
so it will be gentler it will be nurturing it might be more emotional um, or spiritual as the um, water signs are known to be spiritual people and use their intuition and new ideas or the what they bring out what has come in their dreams they are very emotional sensitive people and they might be highly sensitive okay they can usually they might even come walk into a room and they f feel whether the room is happy or sad and these people could take on other people's energy because they're so open with their emotions so be careful Scorpio make sure that you learn to shut yourself off and protect yourself against negativity and walk away from other people's drama don't get involved you can support people but you can't uh, what do you mean you can't make things better for them you can only be there giving a listening ear or giving a helping hand but don't get involved so you might be meeting uh, making a new friend if you're a man this could be your new passion or your new love that could be a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces <coughs> if you're a lady excuse me you could be meeting a man with a nurturing side as we all have the feminine and the masculine within us it is the status of the Queen so he he or she might have her feelings under control but not as good as the king of C cups and we've got a couple so I think you might get an offer of no it's not the knight um, sorry I'm reading upside down it's the knight not the king but we do have you could be meeting a young knight Ooh, somebody's gonna have a toy boy <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, well, goes for the men as well. You might meet a younger lady, and you might fall head over heel in love, or you might get a message from a lady. She could be the knight. Okay. So, she will be very sensitive. Okay. Or oh, they will be. Then, on Friday, you have the Two of Swords you've closed your head your mind you've closed your third eye your intuition and you are a person that is emotionally sensitive okay so you've also closed your heart and your solar plex so throw away those two swords open your heart open your solar plex take off that blindfold open that third eye of yours Scorpio listen to your gut feeling your intuition listen to your dreams and listen to your new ideas that might pop into your head that is your higher self speaking to you or the angels or the divine so be open and um, to receive laughter be open to love it's lying above you it will turn out positive and it will be for long term you're the one that makes the choice you carry the key okay sorry about that guys so open your solar plex open your heart open your mind and take off the blindfold and look what is around you not just what is in front of you so be open to receive laughter and uh, love and new perspectives okay then at the weekend you have the ten of pentacles that means um, that there is an ending and, uh, and, and perhaps an ending to be less fortunate and you're more going to be more fortunate as you've got the ten of pentacles it means that you might have a promotion you might have a gift um, you might get a rice or you finally got the job that you want happy families so there might be family reunions <coughs> also there might be an inheritance okay so you'll be better off materialistically this could be uh, finally having that house having enough money to get that house that you wanted 
because the family is expending. You might be moving from an apartment into a house with a garden. Also, perhaps you might be moving in with a loved one or a new love. Okay. Well, Scorpio, there are beautiful things happening for everybody. This week, the energy has changed dramatically. Uh, the first corner, uh, you have the scythe. And the scythe means that you're cutting with the past. And you're cutting away a new path. But you have also harvested not only uh, wisdom or life experience, but you might have harvested uh, money. Because again, you've got a 10, an ending, a new beginning, like a new job or a promotion, like I said. So you've got a double number here, and a 1, and a 1 becomes 11, and a 2, so you're back in balance. Yippee! And it's an angel, angel number. A double number is always an angel number. So go to Google and have a look what 10 and 10 means, or 1 and 1. Okay, so like I said, whatever you do, you have all these ideas and your or investments, and they're coming true. They're coming out for you. You've got the Midas touch. You can make money, or you can have you can make money out of your passion. Go 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 go. Perhaps a hobby might become work. Lovely. Then at the bottom of the reading or spread you have the cross get out of your head and I think you are getting out of your head okay here you're stuck in your head as well and blindfolded don't be depressed come into action have faith trust yourself have faith in yourself and trust others do look at the cat he's looking at his um, boss or uh, his, le his, his, his master and he's saying, yes, I trust you. I'm waiting for my food. And you always deliver. So if you, you can always deliver. You just have choices to make. The cross is also, you don't have to have bit. You can bear the cross. Everybody's got a cross, okay? Um, that is what I'm hearing. Bear your cross. But your cross will be coming to an end because you've got 36. 36, a 10 and a 10. You're cutting away from the past. There is a new beginning, so make that choice. Take that blindfold off. Lift the fell. You don't have to be that widow, okay? Or you don't have to hide behind a veil. You're, you've got it in your own hands to start this new beginning. Have faith. It's going to be fine. It's coming your way. You just have to open up your eyes. Stop hiding behind a mask or a veil because money is on its way. You just have to jump into action to apply for a job, to get a job, okay? It's here for you. Now, again, you've got the coffin. You are in a transformational period, okay? That's what the coffin means. You're leaving the old behind. You are transforming. And you're going into a new beginning. And here you see a little guy with a book, and he's also already um, digging into research. What can I do? Perhaps it's a newspaper, applying for a job. Wow. So anything that you do, research, like the King, uh, the King of Pentacles. It will deliver you love in, for long term and with durability, or finances, together it's not that expensive. If you share, then uh, you will have more of abundance than usual. Okay? On your own, it's always harder. And look at the Queen, looking at this new beginning. If you are not going to meet a Scorpio, Scorpio, or a water sign, Cancer, or Pisces, then you might be beautifying yourself and transforming yourself, getting back into your power as you've got a number eight. Awesome. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself a little bit more. So you will be attractive to the uh, opposite sex or for a new partner. Okay. Then you have the key. Yes, like I said, you hold the key. 
okay you can open the door to new beginnings or you can close the door and you can close the door to negativity and to positivity open the door come out of your shell you are a good one for doing that okay you're hiding in your shell so that is the message for you this week stop hiding you are beautiful the way you are and have faith in yourself you can do it and you've got many paths um, perhaps you have more than two paths to choose from as you have double ten you've got 33 also an angel number okay and the ten and a ten becomes a one and a one and you've got the meters touch awesome you are in balance because you've got two and you're in your power as you have eight okay so you might have many paths to choose from don't focus uh, on what is in front of you have a look what is around you this is number 34 and that's a seven luck is on your side big time okay many paths all paths lead to spirit what you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering a path of wisdom a path you don't have to suffer a path of bliss or a path of loss okay consider the traveler who met met two stonemasons he asks one what he is doing and the mason replies I'm squaring out the stone he asks the other who is doing the exact same thing and gets the reply I'm building a cathedral one man has a job the other man has found his work and calling he is part of the endeavor much greater than himself be sure you pick a path with a heart yes you're very emotional so pick a path that you are passionate about and that will bring its return invest in the right thing invest most of all in yourself the invitation or the task your call now is to take a big bold step and leave the beaten path heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move do not dally lest you miss the moment it's time to sail into the uncharted be sure you attend to both your path through this earth and well as your journey through the stars so the stars they used to use the stars to navigate their path their journey you hold the key so navigate to stay on the right path and ask the angels for help they will be there for you you have many paths to travel in your lifetime and to choose from now you have the po um, postcard from spirit you are magical okay and it is an angel or a lay angel playing the harp dear you what is true for you can you be impeccable with your word sure you can as long as it's not used manipulate to manipulate others the truth can be set everyone can set everyone free let go of the results let go of your fears and allow the truth to empower you and others this will set into motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of preposter prosperous things will happen this is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others there you go lift that fell come out of your shell whatever it is you want go for it and you hold the key and be clear in your motives especially with yourself 
you will be so happy you did. This is the time where you will tap into the power of co-creating the King of Pentacles and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing? And the results are miraculous when you tell the truth and ask the same of others. So in other words, treat others the way you want to be treated as well. You can learn a lot from life's beautiful lessons and achieve your dreams. Love you always. Last card is number 35. So again, you've got a number 8, the powerhouse and the money house. Big changes and you know there is, so long you take that blindfold off and open the door to change and this is the thunder moon change you see the thunder in the sky there you go I hope you can see it, it's a beautiful card accept change life like the seasons is about to change take advantage of change energy plan ahead well you are forewarned now so you can plan ahead and open the door to what you wish to open the door to a new job a new passion new love and that will bring its returns so open the door to the investments okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading and take care and have a lovely week ahead and please like and share if you would like to be the first one to receive your reading in the week and if you are new welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you will be notified also I leave notifications before I go live in the community uh, section on YouTube and keep an eye on that and also on Facebook and Instagram so I hope to see you either or all on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a donation which is a super chat or a super sticker if you would like to a um, one on one reading an extensive reading then please look below the video in the description box or click on the white circle with the eye in the right hand top corner I wish you all blessings and healings you are all in my prayers and healings uh, sessions so if you would like to receive the healing then set the intention Take care and God bless. Bye-bye, Scorpio.